the promise of our ancestors for democracy and for independence of all Ghanaians. It didn't see the independence of women, but with the passage of the Affirmative Action Bill, we saw the potential of us women in Ghana. Do you think it, it will have any effect freedom with, with regards to this year's election? Um, I will come to that. Okay. Yeah, but the bill in itself was something that should have happened a long time ago. Okay. But we say better late than, than never. never. My role in it, because others have worked, like I said, on it before I came. Every Minister for Gender has done something on it. And so at the time that I got there, uh, Madam Oye had also taken it to cabinet, but because they had lost the election, we had to now look at it again. So okay. I set up a technical team. Okay. And then we repackaged it, had a lot of consultations and uh, with parliamentarians, traditional rulers, all sectors of people. Okay. And then we took it back to cabinet. We felt that um, it needed some watering down. Mm. I must thank uh, Professor Michael Pei Senior, okay. who really was uh, of the opinion that any bill that has no bites is not worth having. And so we, even though they wanted us to water it down, we maintained quotas and other things. Unfortunately, I was uh, asked to leave the ministry. And so others came and they also worked on it. And then finally, uh, Nana, the current MP, who has worked very hard on it, Nana Dakua Newman, yes. to be able to get it to uh, where it is that it has been passed. So it is a fantastic opportunity for the whole country. It's not about women. Okay. The empowerment of women is a national agenda mm. because it is the woman that nurtures all the children. And when she is empowered, then the society will be empowered. Yes. And then the, in terms of um, representation and making sure that at all levels of development, social, political, economic, e educational, the numbers in terms of parity is going to be progressive for this current bill. Mm. 